Someone ran a red light and hit a motorcycle driven by 38-year-old Celso Manuel Garcia. Police say Garcia died at the scene. Investigators say this is the first deadly traffic crash of the year in the city. Mexico's President Andrés Manuel López Obrador visiting Juárez this morning, touting his administration's progress to bring peace to the nation. AMLO among the city, state, and federal officials of Mexico sharing stats of different issues happening within the state of Chihuahua, including the peaks and lows of crime reports, homicides, thefts, and family violence between January 2018 through November 2019. Government officials say homicides are the number one issue they're seeing in Chihuahua and Ciudad Juárez, and there's no denying there's been problems. What worries us most are homicides, for obvious reasons. The loss of life is what worries us more than anything. The Mexican president also said one of the government's priorities, the National Intelligence Center, he says the current intel has played a large role in helping crime investigations and apprehensions. And local activists holding demonstrations during the president's time in Juarez. In social media posts, many people opposed to the construction of a copper mine in the town of Samalayuca, 30 miles south of Juarez, are calling on supporters to rally. Taking a hike, four bullet soldiers hitting the trails at McKelligan Canyon this morning for a good cause in the second annual soldier hike aimed to help homeless veterans. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields joins us with how it went. Fort Bliss and the El Paso Veterans, Office, Veterans Affairs Office joining forces to provide needed products and resources to the homeless and low-income veterans in the borderland. More than 300 active duty Fort Bliss members geared up with 35-pound rucksacks for their hike up McCalligan Canyon. Instead of carrying their usual gear, soldiers hauled much-needed hygiene products such as deodorant, laundry, detergent, and to toothpaste to donate to homeless veterans. Coordinators saying the event brought out at least 50 more soldiers than last year, many wanting to give back to those who serve the country. We have quite a few of our veterans who uh, are homeless and, um, and, and have been, uh, in some cases, uh, forgotten. And we want to raise awareness to, uh, to show them that, hey, they, they're here. Um, they've, they've done uh, so much for us, and it would be an opportunity for us as a community uh, to give back to them. A ceremony followed the hike where soldiers donated the items to veterans and their families. Members of the Veterans Affairs Office encouraged the public to donate to the homeless program, first calling to see what items are in need of donation. In the studio, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.